Hey everybody, I hope that you're doing good. In today's quick tutorial, I'm just gonna show you how you can change the color of an object on the mouse hover using the spline tool. The spline tool is super fun, just a way to add interactivity to 3D models and animations on the web. So let's jump in and get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is come up to this little plus sign and this will allow us to create some kind of new object. So if I click that, we can see we've got a lot of different objects here. And so I'm just going to grab a torus. And once I do that, it gives us this plus button. And it's basically just waiting for us to draw this into the scene. And so if I click and drag, you can see I'm drawing a torus, but it looks like it's kind of squishing and all that. And so if I hold the shift key, I can constrain the proportions. And so I'm just gonna drag this over and it gives us this little gizmo that we can use. And if I hold the shift key now, when I rotate, I can snap to these different angles. And I'm gonna do that again, holding shift just to snap. And then I'm gonna actually scale this down just a little bit more. And again, I'm holding shift there too. Okay, let's move this over. All right, there we go. And so the first thing that we can do to start this interactivity process is we need to create two different things we can create states and events, and these are tied together. And so if I click the plus button for states, what happens is it gives me my first state, and then the default one is just called base state. And so we're gonna leave the base state the way it is. We're just gonna keep it at the, as this gray color here. And then what we can do is click on the state, and we can make some changes. And so the first thing that we wanna do here is we want to tie it to some kind of event. So if I click the plus sign for events, right now it defaults to start. And so this would be basically when you load up the project on the browser, it would just start this process. But what we want to do is we want to do this color change when we do a, a mouse hover. So I'm going to click that. And so when we mouse hover, we're going to do whatever changes that we put in here. And so you can see we're acting on this object that's the torus. And the state that we're gonna use is this state right here. You can also choose a different one depending on, you could use the base state or if you had other states, you can use those. Keep it to that one. And we have different settings here to cycle and repeat and the different kinds of transitions for easing in and easing out. And we'll just keep all of this for default for right now. And what we wanna do is just change the color. And so if I come down here, you can see the color setting and so what we want to do is just change this from gray to a different color. And I'm going to just scroll down so we can see this. Let's go in here and just grab a kind of an orange color. And there we go. And let me scroll back up. And so we can see on this state, the color will be orange. And if I click on the base state, which is our default state, it will be this gray color. And the way we can test this is we can come up here and we can just hit the play button. And now we're previewing this basically in the browser. And when I hover over this object, it turns orange. And when I take my mouse away, it changes to gray. So I can close this little thing right here. And that's about it. So I just wanted to show you this really quickly. I thought it was like really fun. There's so many different things you could do. Uh, there's just so many different possibilities. So hopefully that was helpful. And I will see you in the next tutorial. Thanks, bye.